So here is a quick video about the small issue you can encounter with the new version of the LinkedIn automation template that if you start running it for a long time, at one point you will end up that the result files are too big for the template to be importing it automatically. And then you will basically have to do some manual import of this file. So it's marked that you have this cross here, so that means that there's an error here. And what you need to do is basically to download this result file. So if you just download it, it's automatic download it. And you will need basically to manually import it in the sheet which should be containing this data. So you can access it if you go to view hidden, you have there like the list of the different um, sheet which are actually storing all the data of your automation. And they are in order. So profile extractor is the one which is on step one here. So LinkedIn CSH Explorer, Network Buster is a step two, so the one which has an error. Contact extractor is here. Message sender is the first one. If you have some other message sender, it will also be displayed there. So we have an issue with Network Booster, so we need to go to the Network Booster sheet. And you can actually check here that the reason is that you exceed the maximum size, so that's why it's not about to import. And you can go here to File, Import, Upload. So just upload the file that you just download. And here the trick is you need to be choosing the last option, Replace Data at Selected Cell. If you do this, you're not going to break down the template. It's importing and you can still see those in the statistics here once it would be updated. So that's basically a process to handle this error when the file is too big. Uh, issue is you will have to do this like quite often once it is, so it's better practice to actually keep your adding exploratory small and run basically a small campaign. Uh, this approach is also interesting once you are done running your campaign and you want to be saving the results. Because let's say you are done running this campaign which is using five phantom. You want to reuse those phantom for some other campaign. So then it is good practice to basically download the result of all of those and put them in the matching uh, sheets. So you will have the data saved and you will have the dashboard with all the information even if you're going to reset your phantom or the phantom to run a different campaign you will have an archive of the statistic you have achieved on this specific campaign